sing for the holiday. The happy holiday. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Okay, I'm gonna shower. <laughs> guys good morning welcome back to my channel today is vlogmas day four i think and um <clears throat> i woke up pretty late today because yesterday i went to sleep really late makes sense right um and now i'm starting off my day i got dressed today because i feel like well one sometimes i don't feel like dressing up i just feel super lazy and i feel so cozy when i I'm in like sweats, PJs, whatever. Ooh, yes, girl. Why are these like to the right? <clears throat> so, um, honestly, like when I feel like dressing up, I'll do it because it's what I feel like in the moment. So today I felt like dressing up and wearing makeup. And if you know me, I only do my eyelashes because I hate the feeling of taking off your makeup at night and it is like a lot you know having the foundation um it just gets really annoying for me because i'm a very low maintenance person and that is why i cut my hair um because i had hair up to like passing my butt but i just couldn't do it so um i use uh the volume voluminous original l'oreal paris it was recommended to me by a friend who like her eyelashes were like long and beautiful so i use that one if you guys um have your favorite mascara let me know i feel like it's always good to try something new because sometimes it's out of stock and so you just have to randomly get something else and i want to be able to get something that's good so especially since the only thing i do is my eyebrow my eyebrows <laughs> um my eyelashes so yeah that's the only thing I do, and I do like my skincare in the morning. Anyways, um, but today, Alvin's Christmas gift is coming early. And it's being shipped, and it's being installed. So, I'm excited to show him and have him see his Christmas present. Um, I don't know if I should tell you guys. Or, you know what, you're gonna wait too. You should wait too. It's gonna be in the next few clips, I'm sure. Um, but... This is something that I saved up for and um, it is pretty expensive and the reason why I was able to afford it is because I live rent free here. Um, Alvin pays rent. <laughs> it's not rent, it's mortgage. Um, but yeah, um, we're blessed to make enough so that I get to save my check for us as our savings and so I'm like, hey, you've been wanting this, you work really hard, um, why not? So. And he definitely deserves it. So, oh, my lips. You know what? I should probably put stuff, something on my lips, too. Because then they all crusty. If you watch my vlogs, that's the thing that always is crusty. My lips. Um, this is Euphoria. They sent this to me. And it is so good. Like, it's super natural. And moisturizes these crusty lips there you go okay so he went to go buy his food um and when he walks in i'm gonna be like surprise and he's gonna be like oh my gosh that's so cool so at well at least that's what i hope he will say or do Why are my glasses 
glasses. <laughs> Isn't it funny? If you wear glasses and you're like, where are my glasses? But you can't find your glasses because you don't have your glasses on. Also guys, I drink a lot of water. Personally, I feel like water tastes so good. So today I'm gonna be working in my office because the living room is a mess because of what was installed. So, um, I have to bring my stuff up. But look who just walked in. Look who just walked in the house. He was getting a little suntan. We're gonna start working upstairs. Um, Alvin was like, people are gonna think we're rich and yes, I feel like when you don't fully know someone before they get to where they're at, you assume it was easy or they've always had this. So like a couple of years ago, I think two years ago, I uploaded a video just talking about um, my life. And then I took it down because I was trying to focus more on travel and I'm like, well, this isn't really relatable to travel, although it is me, right? It's about me. So maybe I'll put it up again. Alvin and I definitely have more now um, and it has happened in the recent year. Um, and I believe it's because God told us to move to Arizona. Um, I felt like it was something we had to do. I felt really comfortable about it and I've never been to this state, yet I was so comforted in the fact that, you know, it's going to be okay. Um, and so it just all made sense. And so we were obedient and we followed. And because it was something that God wanted for us, we've been really flourishing here. And that means, you know, I went from unemployed during the pandemic when we moved and being employed during the pandemic earlier this year. Um, with my dream company. I don't want to make it seem like, oh, there's dream companies and like if you don't achieve it, you haven't done enough in life. I don't think that's the case. Um, my dream companies have changed throughout my career. As you move on, you're like setting new goals and new desires. I have talked about scarcity mentality um, and that's because I grew up with not much, but I was um, blessed to have people around me and my family that you know, would help each other. Um, I did at one point live in a garage. It was my grandma's garage with like my mom and all my siblings. And to me back then, I didn't see it as something like that meant we didn't have enough money. Like to me, that was just like, oh, we're just transitioning to a different part in our life. So that being said, you know, there's so many things similar to that where we didn't have enough to have like the normal life i would say whatever that means um but yeah that's why now i'm so excited to share all the blessings we have because of god you know we didn't do any of this of course we met him halfway and we were obedient and sometimes we're not and we mess up and we have to get back up and deal with the consequences and eventually god is so loving that he puts us back into the right path but um yeah i'll probably share a little bit more in the future um about like just specific things but i think we all go through like hard times in our childhood or like you know just growing up sometimes we don't have enough of something or there's a lack of something and i think that's totally normal so yeah i want to celebrate these moments and to be able to comfortably buy things for each other um, I remember there'd be like Christmases where we would go shopping at the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree um, just to get gifts for each other or at least I would. <laughs> so um, yeah, I worked really hard and now I'm able to enjoy the fruits of my labor. So I really want to share this with you guys and also like I keep saying, I want to look back at these videos and be like, wow, this girl thought she had a lot <laughs> and now I'm older and I have much more or I may have much less and I go back and look at how abundant things were in my life back then and how blessed I am to have gone through that those experiences so yeah I don't want to make this too long but just wanted to put that out there because Christmas is coming and I know a lot of people don't have 
you know, during the pandemic, especially like me not be working and don't have money to buy each other gifts. Um, I, I completely understand that. Um, I've been there. So I don't want to make anyone feel like they need to have buy gifts. I've been in that season where I probably didn't get a gift or wasn't able to give gifts. But now I am in that season. And just try not to compare yourself to people's seasons because they are all different and your season is different. So, um, yeah, I took many seasons of not having to now be in the position where we have. Um, and it might not be like this next year, but we want to enjoy the moment and live in the moment and celebrate each other. And of course, celebrate the real meaning of Christmas, which is Christ being born. I'm going to start working for things for work. That's so redundant, work for work. Um, and then start editing the other vlogmas because this is intense. Like you literally edit a video every day. Plus I work as an editor. But I chose this life. <laughs> so if you would be so kind and support me throughout this vlogmas, cheer me up, encourage me, tell me what you want to see. Um, tell me where you bought your Christmas presents, your Christmas tree, or how you're like doing DIY or not celebrating or like not buying stuff because I'm also about not buying. I hate, I hate like fighting for something like I, it's a materialistic thing. So yeah, I won't be fighting for any presents this year and I've never done that, but I'm hoping that we order our gifts soon for our family. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna get to work. Elvin is here. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say about his gift. So, I want to show you oh. your Christmas <laughs> gift. Whoa. <laughs> you mind a is that a bigger TV? I don't know. It looks bigger to me. Is that the one you wanted? Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 <laughs> Let's go. Okay, okay. <laughs> For everyone who doesn't know about TVs, it's an LG G1 gallery television OLED that with the Evo panel. It's the brightest OLED in the market currently, and it's meant to look like a gallery. This is dope. Yo, is it big enough? It's, it's <laughs> 65. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Do you mount to the soundbar? Yeah. <sighs> And it's good for gaming. All right, I have lost my husband. Oh, wow, this looks packed. What is that? It's rotoli. Are you preparing? I am preparing for our honeymoon. Hawaiian barbecue. You look sad. You took the barbecue. Wow, you're the one who took all the barbecue. Ritoli is what it's called? Ritoli. Ritoli. It's really good. It is late. It's dark outside. And now I'm gonna edit a vlog and then start cleaning the whole entire house. <laughs> I'm exhausted, but we gotta get this done. I'm gonna get started before it gets any later. Hey guys, so I'm gonna have to end the vlog here because I'm really exhausted and I was supposed to clean, wash my clothes, but that's not gonna happen. I went to sleep at 4 a 4 30 a.m. yesterday editing uh, a vlog for vlogmas. So right now it's like a decent time, like 12. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to bed. Um 
So yeah, this vlog will probably be shorter, but I will see you tomorrow. There's so much more content to make. Have a good night. Rudolph, how you do that?